Hi YouTube, it's Tasha. I wanted to share with you a really quick video just of some projects that I'm working on. Let's get started. This is my very first tag. I call it the Vintage Lady Decorative Tag. And this is also my very first charm. This tag has a picture of Miss Sarah Vaughn on it, the Divine One. My next tag has a picture of Miss Pearl Bailey. I put a pearl flat, black, fat, flat back pearl in her ear for an earring. One on her finger for a ring. Um, three here in the flower. The glimmer mist is my homemade glimmer mist is on the back of the card. It's actually on the flower as well. The, the third one is of Miss Lena Horn. I also put rhinestones here for her earrings and on her wrist here. I don't want to go into a lot of detail because I don't want to go over the time. These are some charms that I worked on as well. This one has, this is actually a natural amethyst stone right here, but the rest of this is base metal and this pearl it's just those pearls that you get maybe 50 in a pack for a couple of dollars from Hobby Lobby. And this is a, a base metal lobster clasp. This one is just um, a charm that I got off eBay. Uh, connected with a jump ring to a lobster clasp. This one is the same. Uh, base metal. This is actually a fishing hook do that from Walmart. I think it was 12 in a pack for less than a dollar and fifty cents. This is a glass bead that I've had for eons. I said, oh, this is base metal with another charm that I got from eBay. The last one is again the little dollar, couple dollars pearls, plastic pearls, base metal findings lobster class. I'm going to actually do more the tags and I'm going to be using some of these photos right here. This is Eartha Kit and I'm going to do one on her. You guys may know her best as Catwoman from the 60's live action show of Batman. Very pretty lady. This is another picture of Eartha. I don't know which one I'm going to use. This is one of her as well. I'm going to do one of Nichelle Nichols, and this is her. And you know Nichelle from Star Trek. Her with her ballerina boots on. Her ballerina thigh high boots on. I thought that was a new fashion. Huh, <laughs> fool me. This is Miss Ella Fitzgerald. I'm going to find another picture, I think, of her. But I'm going to do one of her as well. And I'm going to do one of Miss Dorothy Dandridge. And I think she's a beautiful lady. So I'm going to do one with her too. This next project is my Halloween mini. And I've gotten to a point and I'm kind of stuck right now and I think I'm going to do it like I'm doing the the tags just let it take shape on its own but this is what I have so far I just put this Tim Holtz thing on here and I just stuck a couple of charms on it one is a, a spider one is a jack-o-lantern and I'll actually put a red rhinestone, you probably can't see it, in a little hole right there, the spider. But this is the book itself. And like I said, I'm working on it. It's a work in progress. And that's a pocket. There's a page. And you know, you have those, those pages too. But right now, I just don't have anything. And this right here is just plain with this. is just a piece of paper that I cut a ghost at just to see how that would fit in there. It looks okay, so I may keep something along that line. And it's just a page, so that's really all I have. I think this is the only, these two are the only finished pages. Um, I put some googly eyes in the spiders and 
little mat for a picture. And actually, these are not connected, so you have to put a tag in there. And these are the other pages. The little guy. He was actually on the front. I didn't like him on the front. And I stuck him in there. And I don't know, really don't like him there, but I'm going to keep him there anyway. And this is the back. So, that's that. And this is another lady that I was going to do. One of, and that, oh, Josephine Baker, that's her name. And I put rhinestones on her tatas because I don't want to say that I'm promoting porn on YouTube. The costume that she has on actually has feathers to it. So I'm going to go and find some feathers. So when I put her on the tag, it'll be behind, you know, she has the feathers behind her. And the last thing, but certainly not least, is I hosted a swap slash uh, thing on my tag page and what I did was I sent everybody three blank envelope pocket type things like just the blank ones and I sent um, some tabs I sent binding rings I think I'm and a, a pack of the G Studio um, stamps from Michaels and challenge was a swap challenge and the thing was to just make three pockets they was going to send me one keep one for myself and swap with people in the group but of course you know it was only three of us that participated and I did my pocket this person did her pocket and I'm still waiting on another pocket from a month ago but it's okay but I just want to show you her pocket is so beautiful she decoposed her pocket in that beautiful big flower on the front life she puts some bling in life and bling on the tag she's got glitter everywhere decoupage the back look at that distressed decoupage she just did it up y'all it's very pretty this is the tag mm, I love this I love her pocket I told her she needs to do a um tutorial on how she did this but it's really cool but anyway YouTube that's I just want to share with you guys some of the projects that I'm working on some of the things that I'm doing and actually if you have any suggestions on how I can you know complete some of my projects just feel free to leave a comment and that'll be cool I'd appreciate all of you guys help all right thanks YouTube have a good night